Hello friends, welcome back to the vlog. Um, I am up bright and early today because uh, we're going to tour Nintendo. Nintendo's like North American office, which is very exciting. You guys know I do love my video games. Um, and I think it's gonna be a good day. I don't think I can film too much in the actual headquarters, but I will try to get like a little bit of footage of like wherever it's like A-OK -okay to film. Um, but I've been told that is pretty top secret, so can't be filming very much in there, but I'll try to get a little bit of footage. Um, that's all that's going on. So I'm gonna go and, oh, there is a store in Nintendo, in the Nintendo office, so if I get stuff, I'll definitely do a haul. It's a good idea. Let's do an outfit of the day right now, because I feel like I'm, I'm trying today. Look at the mess in the background. Apologies, apologies. Okay, the lighting sucks, but I'm trying today, so I have to show you guys. All right, I've got a Bride of Chucky uh, sweatshirt that I believe I got at Target. This jacket I got from a thrift store, and it is very stinking cute. Uh, Lulu's, as always, and Doc's. And obviously my big fat glasses, and that's the, the OTT. Yeah. Uh, all right, well, I am going to head to the tour. I'm so excited. I'm going to go, and I'll check in with you guys in a little bit. Okay. Six and a half hours later. Guys, we're back from our adventure at Nintendo. It was so much fun. It was so cool to like learn about the history of, oh my God, this angle. <gasps> Hold on, let me put you down. Whew. These angles are a little bit rough skis. Okay, back from Nintendo. It was awesome. It was really cool to learn about the history of Nintendo and to see all the different um, consoles over the years. And yeah, it was really neat. Uh, and I definitely went crazy in the store. Oh boy, oh boy, I am running late, but I kind of want to show you guys what I got. Really quick haul. I'm running so behind. Oh my god. Sorry, my life, right? Okay, we're starting off hot with you guys. I don't know if you know this, but I love Animal Crossing. And I had to get this Nook sweater. So cute. We love Nook's cranny. Nook, mm, I don't love him, but he's Animal Crossing, so yeah. I also got this Nook uh, toque. How sick and cute. Had to get it. Had to get it. I'll wear them together. It's gonna look great. Okay, this is kind of boring, but I got a thing for my Nintendo Light, Switch Light. Um, I feel like I blacked out and just started like shopping like crazy, but I got this uh, Zelda wallet, which I like because there's lots of like card spaces. And then I also got, I had to get this Toad. How cute. Obsessed. I love them both. I will be switching those in and out. And then I also bought some new, uh, what are these, Joy-Cons? Yeah. I got Joy-Cons because my other ones uh, float, float, drift a little bit from playing so much Animal Crossing. Uh, so I got some backups and I also got this little bookmark. Oh, so cute. So yeah, that's my haul. I have to go because the shuttle bus is leaving in like a few minutes and of course I'm behind. So I'm going to go do that and then hopefully I can get an Oreo taste test done. I'm going to do my best. It's, it's probably going to be chaos today, but I'm going to do my best. I do have two flavors. One you can only get in Canada. So that's very exciting, uh, but I have to go. I have to go, I gotta go. I'm going downstairs, getting on the shuttle, heading to the menu, and hopefully I will see you guys there very shortly. I'm talking so fast and I am so caffeinated. I had two Starbies today and it's like 11 o'clock in the morning. Actually, I had Starbucks delivered this morning. Please don't judge me, but it was 6.15 and we got in super late last night because our flight was super delayed and I woke up to Uber Eats calling me and telling me that the coffee was in the lobby. It was a great more, it was a great wake up call. Honestly, it was top tier. Uh, anyways, I have to go. <laughs> so I'll see you guys in five, four, three, two, one, bye. Hi friends. I am here with one of my friends and um, I wouldn't necessarily call you a friend. No, that's okay. We are coworkers. Yeah. Okay. Hi, this is Anna J. You guys all know who she is. Hello. Yep. Uh, you've never done an Oreo taste test with me. No. I'm, I'm sure not. the audience knows why. Yeah. We've had our, taking a minute. <laughs> we've, had, we've had our differences. Yeah. Um, but all is fair in uh, Oreo world. Yeah. You I'm said down. We. I'm down to taste them. We. Yes. You said I. Not okay. We. No. Sorry. No, you okay. Said okay. I, okay not I'm sorry. Me. We we have had some issues in yeah, the past. Yeah. No. I've had issues with her as well. 
Yeah. I mean, oh, I still, well, I still, I mean, there's a part of me that still really doesn't like you, but yeah, anyway, okay. let's just try the Oreos. Right. Okay. So today we are trying something that's a little different. I've never tried a cookie outside of an Oreo on the channel, but today we're trying double stuff fudgios. Mm. Yeah, Anna, get it right. It's an Oreo. Oh. It's a fudgio. Okay, guys. Whatever. So a fudgio is a Canadian delicacy. Okay. You can only get them in Canada. It is by Christie. And as you can see, it is a smaller box than the Oreos that you buy in America, which is similar to the cinnamon bun Oreos that we tested last week. Okay. Wait, do, don't they uh, do Oreos as well, though? Is Christy, that the same brand? Same brand. Okay. In Canada, yes, yes, so yes. Same, same brand. brand Oreo? Uh, this is a special fudgio because yeah. it is a double stuff fudgio. Mm. You know how much I love the double stuff? I'm sure you're, are you a fan of double oh, stuff? Oh, yes. You love double stuff. I love double stuff. Okay, great. Yeah. <laughs> okay, great. Well, so there is, right. there's, there's criteria to trying the Oreos or the fudgios. Um, you got to smell it. Okay. Then we'll all cheers. We'll take a bite. And then it's you're going to rate it one to five. Okay. Okay. And um, it's based on, does it taste like it says, what it says it's going to taste like, which I guess doesn't really count because it's a fudgio. Um, but I would say just rate it out of five in terms of if you like it or not. Okay. And if you'll eat it again. And if you would go across the, the U.S. Canada border to get some. Got it. Okay. All right. Ooh, it does smell good. Mmm. It smells like something I've had Ooh. before, but I don't know what exactly it is. Beautiful. I know what you're talking about. Do you actually? Yeah, it's yeah, some yeah. sort of cookie that. Is it a cookie? I don't know. Anyway, it smells good though. Okay, the guest. You can. You're is the guest. Like, so is you it can like take Swiss the uh, hot chocolate? Oh, good wait, call. actually. It no, does. There's something that's probably, anyways. I have to tell you, the same, but. Uh, Penelope Poop has wanted to try these for a long time. I know. They've, for they've been in my cupboard since the Canadian shows. Oh, really? They have. Wow. Okay, so we. I know, hurry up. I okay, wait, wait, it. hold on, hold on. We have to show <gasps> the oh, thickness of this cookie. That is a that thick. is definitely a it's thick double stuff. Thank you for the YouTube assistance. Thick with two C's. Two <laughs> <laughs> thick. Two thick. Thick. Like it's booty. It's thick. Okay, yeah. uh, clank? Okay. Clink, clink, clink. Okay. Oh, I didn't get you. Clink. Okay. Here we go. Aggressive clink. All right. I love a fudgy gum. Mm. Well, I was just eating. Mm. Um, well, I was just chewing gum, so it tastes like minty. Why would you do that before a we review? Need a, a good palate. I didn't before. even know. I put my gum on my shoe for this. <laughs> okay, guys. I love a fudgio. Me too. I'm so I feel like. One. The um the cream on the inside is almost like a different consistency than an Oreo. It's mm -hmm. like more it's more creamy or something. Like kind of like frosting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very similar frosting. I don't know. I don't really know how to describe the flavor, because it is chocolate. Delicious. But it's not overly chocolatey, even though it looks like it would be super chocolatey. It's not. Does that make sense? Yeah, it's like the flavor of chocolate, but like not fully. Yeah. Or something. It's really good. The middle definitely tastes like frosting. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm kind of glad I can't get them in America because I would probably buy boxes and boxes of them. Mm. Oh my god. Okay. What do you rate it? A five. Mmm. You're very giving with the ratings. I love no, that. I was going to say. I am not. Remember when we did that one? <laughs> oh, you did argue finish. about it. You were like, the cinnamon doesn't taste like it. I remember that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I gave it a three. You did. You did. I'm going to, I haven't done this before, so. Okay. I'm going to be a little more harsh. Oh. Only because I like chocolate, but not like. I don't know. I don't know if I would buy these personally. So I'm going to say three. Really? But they're good. Mm. They're, actually, 3.5. That's better. Three is a little too one. low. 3.5. I'm giving it. 3.5? You wouldn't eat another one? Jeez. No, I would, and I'm going to. But I um, don't know if I'd purchase them. They're but they're so good. good. I would definitely get them again. Okay. Actually, I used to just eat them by the row. Would you? Oh, I, I have. So you've had these like your whole life? Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Hell yeah. They're really good. I, I enjoy them. Very good. Um, the regular ones are okay, but the double stuff is definitely where it's at. Yeah. Yeah. That's All right. Three point five. I don't know how I feel about that. Okay, sorry. I think you're just being biased because they're these Canadian. are so nostalgic, but I don't know why. <laughs> okay, but I totally. There's got to be something I think in America that they taste like, and I can't think of what hmm. it is. Yeah, I can't huh. figure it out. I don't, I don't know. know. It just tastes like a fudgio to me. <laughs> yeah. Good for you. That, that sounds about right. <laughs> Just like fudgy. Um, Anna, where can people find you? Um, you can find me on your social media. Oh. It's okay. You, 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 can, you get can there. You can find me. I'm Alice. I'm just kidding. I am Anna J <laughs> with three underscores. What? On both. Yeah, they don't have like. I mean, Anna J's taken in like all of them. Okay. Um, 
Yeah, that's on Twitter and Instagram. So All right. I'll find me guys. All right, and we plucked it last time. Yeah, you guys will find it. I'm gonna, I'll put everything in the copy. description. Don't follow her. <laughs> I will find. I'll put everything in the description box below, like I do for everybody. Um, thanks for eating uh, fudgios with me. I still can't really stand you as a person, but you're welcome. Right. You want to go out? Um, I'm not the best person to do that to. What are you going out? Oh. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs>
I love that he's covered in the blood. Isn't that so cool? Oh my gosh, I can't wait to take him out of the box. He's gonna look so good on my display with my the rest of my monsters. But how, I had to get him. I love werewolves. I went on a werewolf kick. I think last year I was just watching like all werewolf movies. That tends to happen. I get obsessed with like a subgenre and then I'll just like watch a whole bunch of movies in that subgenre or like creature or whatever. And I got really into werewolves last year uh, and I actually got to see American Werewolf in London at the screening room, which is the theater in Buffalo. And that was really cool. Actually, the Blade does watch-alongs at the screening room, and he has one coming up soon. It's very exciting. Okay. Oh, my God. I just hit myself with the box. Okay. Wolfman. We love him. He's a friend. And he's going to look great on display. But I have three more items. One I was gifted. I have not opened it yet, so we're going to open it together on camera. So we're going to get to that one last. But next up, as you guys know, I'm on a bit of a Chucky kick. I'm trying to collect as many Chucky figures and dolls, etc., etc., as I can right now. I'm on the hunt for a Glenn doll. So if you know where to get a Glenn doll, let me know. I do not want to buy it off eBay. I would love to find it in the wild. I would love to get it at an actual store. Uh, but let me know if you guys see a Glenn doll. I'm also on the fence about ordering the ultimate NECA Chucky doll. I believe you can still pre-order it on one or two websites. Uh, by the time this video comes out, I bet you I'm going to have ordered it. But anyways, if you think I should, comment below. Okay. First one is a Chucky and Tiffany set. This is a Mego action figure set. I don't know this brand. I'm sure you guys do. You guys know I'm new to toy collecting, so I don't know this brand. Let me know if uh, you guys do and anything I need to know about it. I guess I could look that up, but I don't know. I just thought this was cool. Like, I'm collecting Chucky's and Tiffany's, so I figure why not, right? Um, I've never seen them this set before, and... Do you think I should take it out of the package? Let me know in the comments. If there are certain toys you think I should take out of the package, put it in the comments. If there are certain toys where you're like, mm, don't take that out of the package, also tell me that because I don't know. Again, I've said this a million times. I have no intention on ever selling any of this stuff, but I'm just curious as to like how you, what you guys would do with your toys and figures and collections. Okay. Anyways, so eight inch action figures comes with uh, weapons. And they're actually in real clothing, which I thought was really cute, like actual cloth clothing, similar to my NECA toys, my NECA Chuckies, they have clothes on. Um, so yeah, I thought this was a great little find. I actually found this at a store in Buffalo in the Eastern Hills Mall. I can't remember the name of the store, but they had like all kinds of toys and records and all kinds of random stuff, but they had a good little selection of um, horror toys. So, grabbed it. Keeping with the Chucky theme, I was so thrilled when I found this uh, at that same store in Eastern Hills Mall in Buffalo. How stinking cool is this? This is a talking Chucky from Child's Play 2. Let me get close on it so you can see his little face. Uh, this is by Mezco Toys as well. and. I think I need to put batteries in him. I'm definitely gonna take him out because of the Chucky that I have over there, which you can't see. It was from Spirit of Halloween and I purchased him for a Halloween costume when I dressed up as Tiffany. Uh, so I'm on the hunt for like actual Chuckies that look like Chucky. Um, and I thought that this one did. I think he's super cute. And he's wearing his little outfit, like actual cloth clothing. I don't think, I think I need to put batteries in him. Okay, he's making noises, but I think he needs new batteries. Anyways, uh, yeah, I just thought this was great, and I really love the box, too. I think I'll take him out, but I, I kind of want to keep the box on display, like maybe keeping it like this, so it kind of looks like a big VHS or something. I don't know, but I love him, and I love Child's Play, too, so I was very excited to find this. And the back of the box is cool, too. Oh, huge fan. Love that I found this. Moving along. Okay. This is the last thing. I started to open it and then I stopped myself because I want to open it on camera because I think it's a toy. I'm almost 100% positive. I think it is. And I just figured it would be more fun to open this together. This was sent to my P.O. box and I actually have no idea who sent it. So oh my gosh. Okay. This is a gift from Joe. He's one of my patrons um, and just a really awesome fan. 
that I've known for a long time. And uh, oh my gosh, Joe. <gasps> you guys, you guys. <gasps> it's Blade in the red outfit. Oh my God. I've only ever seen this like online. I've never found it in the wild. I think this one is pretty rare. <gasps> Joe, thank you so much. I love him. You guys know I'm obsessed. I'm a Puppet Master obsessed. And if you don't know, now you do. Uh, this is fantastic. It is going to look so amazing in my collection. You take a little peek at it. Love the red outfit. It looks like this one came out in 1997. And it seems like it's a variation of the original blade, which I did take out of the box because I wanted it on display. This one I will not be taking out of the box. I don't think. I think this one's going to be a keeper, but he's going to look so great in my collection. I absolutely love him. I'm on a hunt for, oh my God, it's signed. <gasps> oh, it's signed by Charles Band as well. That's, uh, Joe, I, I can't thank you enough. This is amazing. I love it so much. <gasps> I love Puppet Master so much. And this is, this is amazing. Thank you. Okay. That's, that's the toy haul. Uh, I think I'm going to end the video here as well, but if you liked it, please uh, subscribe and thumbs up and hit the notification bell. It really does help my channel grow. And if you want to see more toy hauls, please comment below. I promise we will have more horror reviews with the blade. We've just been pretty busy and it's been hard to get that in, but I promise they're coming. I swear cross my heart they're coming um and also more toy hauls and some maybe some unboxing i don't know let me know what you guys want to see in the comments below but i just want to say thank you so much for watching for following my little journey uh and just for being the most awesome supportive fans ever in the whole wide world i appreciate you all so so much and um yeah i think that's it i think this is going to conclude the video so thanks for watching bye